Welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. In this episode, we are focusing on the Royal Family of Oasis Springs. And as you guys know, or some of you know if you've seen the previous episodes, this is Prince Jared, and he is the older of the two brothers in the Royal Family of Oasis Springs. His brother is Prince Jared. So for so for this episode, you guys have been requesting a lot for this topic. So I've gotten a lot of people comment and ask if we would ever have a poor person, a poor person, um, marry someone who is in the noble family or one of the royals. So I, I, I didn't really want to do that with Prince Henry of Windenburg because I just think that he's so in love with Princess um, Alice that I don't think that really fit with his character. So I have chosen Prince Jared, who right now looks like he's breaking out in some sort of illness. I see something on his skin, so I need to fix that and get him some medicine. But I, so I, I figure with Prince Jared because we recently, um, I believe it was one of the episodes, it was called uh, The Royal Family of Oasis Springs. That's where we focused on him. And we had his parents sort of engage him to be married and, and make an arranged marriage with someone who is part of one of the noble families of Willow Creek. And I, I think that it was sort of forced on him, and I don't think that... Oh, they're getting up now. Um, I'm actually going to pause this because I want you to see who we're talking about. So, yeah, I, I don't think that Prince Jared was really for it. So this is Nina. This is Nina Shepard, and her parents, if you can see her, so her parents are, um, they're both gardeners and they both live or they all live in Oasis Springs. She lives in a small little house outside of where the noble and royal families live and she is super sweet and she is a bar barista. barista. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right but she works at a coffee shop which is where the princes met her and um, she got really close with both of them or not super close but I mean they hit it off really well but Prince Jared just is so in awe by her and um, I just the families don't really associate with the poor relations um, so with her they they're actually if you can see so I don't know if I could zoom out completely in here but they are behind the palace of Oasis Springs so this right here is just kind of this little what is that oh break open requires heading oh that's cool I didn't know you could do that oh my gosh Oh, I have to do this. Okay, well, I'll do that later. So they are behind the palace of Oasis Springs, if you guys can see. So he's trying to be sneaky. He kind of met her back here. Um, I mean, I guess if you really think about it, anyone who is looking off the balcony, could could they see them? Let's see. Could you see? I mean, you kind of could see, but I don't think his parents would sort of be looking down there but anyway so that is what they are doing they're sort of hiding from the world um hiding from his parents so they're just they're getting along really well and they've already got a bit of a romantic relationship and as you can see they're pretty much good friends already it didn't take long at all they've just clicked so well um but she is super sweet and i think you know i think i'm going to actually put them to go on a date but I think we need Prince Jared to take some medicine. I don't know if anyone in the family has medicine that he could take at the moment. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, I don't know. The illness usually goes away. We'll just worry about it later. Okay, so Prince Jared is going to ask out Nina on a date. But they're going to have to go somewhere that is a little bit more secluded. They can't really go to a super public place. So... I I wonder if you give her the residence keys yet. Maybe not yet. Maybe, maybe we'll hold off on that. That'll be a bigger deal later on. So he's going to ask her out on a date. Um, I know he's feeling a little lightheaded, but he's just going to have to get over it. So let's go ask her out on a date. Um, and then we'll go somewhere a little bit more secluded. Um, so I'm trying to think of a place that would be good. I think I know of a few places, especially in Windenburg, that they could go to. There's not too many places here that are super secluded. Plus, I think they try to go to a different town anyway. 
Um, and I know we don't really go to any of the other worlds, um, so maybe we will explore that one day. It'd be so much fun to add another royal family. Um, I think it would definitely make things a little bit more complicated, but, I mean, the game's already complicated enough. I know you guys can barely follow sometimes, I'm sure. And I really, really, really want to create a... Um, yeah, I'm just going to have them go here to the island bluffs. Buffs? Bluffs? Bluffs, okay. Um, yeah, and I know you guys want me to have, like, a, just a breakdown of the family tree, and I definitely want to. I just, like, I tried outside of the game, like, not outside of the game. I wasn't filming when I tried, and my mind was blown, and I was just so stressed, and it was just so complicated. So I need to just figure out a way. I wish I would have before, and I apologize, but I will find a way to explain everything to you guys. Um, and if you've seen all the episodes, you kind of are getting bits of bits and pieces of it. So hopefully you guys are following a little bit. So we are here at the Island Bluffs. Um, we have to sit and talk. Is there really a place for them to sit and talk? But, okay, so why don't we have them go swimming together? Um, so they are just having a fun day out. It is... Uh, Saturday afternoon, so this is a super secluded place. I don't really expect many people to find them here at all. Yeah, there's literally nobody here. This is such a nice, nice place, place. Okay, so they are going to swim together. Um, and so the, the woman, the girl, I guess the girl because they're teenagers, but the girl that he's in, engaged to be married is Lady Lindsay. Um, and, and she's nice and sweet he just like he doesn't really hit it off with her very well I mean they've known each other for a good amount of time now and it just it's not really going anywhere with them so I, I just think that I don't know plus his brother seemed to hit it off a little bit more with Lady Lindsay so I mean that could be something his brother isn't really much of the jealous type um because I, 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 I know someone commented on it too and said that commented on one of the videos and said that maybe he would be the jealous type and try to overthrow Prince Jared, but maybe he would be. I think that if he, if his brother, Prince Adrian, did have a crush on Lady Lindsay, I think that would just motivate him more to try to overthrow Prince Jared. Um, and I don't think that the King and Queen of Oasis Springs would approve of Prince Jared and Nina at all. So they definitely have to hide their relationship. And I don't know what Prince Jared is going to do. I don't know if he's going to decide to marry um, Lady Lindsay and just kind of give in to it. Or if he would try to convince his parents about about letting him be with Nina. But I really don't think that would happen. I don't I don't see any, any way that that could happen. Um, I mean, her parents are both gardeners. They really come from a poor, poor family. She doesn't have any relatives that are well known or anything like that. So there's just honestly no way. I I think she has met at least the mom. Maybe she's met the whole family. Um, but I think that, okay, let's, we gotta get them to sit and talk. So can they sit? Where can they sit? Is there any place to sit here? I don't think so. Oh, they're hugging! I know, sorry, the camera was really far for you guys to see that. Oh, he's still not feeling well. Whoops. All right, just just get over it. It's okay. Okay, so flirt with your date while being flirty. So we both have to be flirty. Oh, wow, their romantic relationship has gone up a lot in just, like, less than a minute, pretty much. Okay, so attempt a missile. What? Okay. I don't know why I'm saying it's a mistletoe kiss when, one, it's not winter, and also they're outside. There's no mistletoe around. Oh, okay, so he was sitting, so I guess that counts. So, if I make him happy... No, I was going to say, is there... Oh, no, no, no! Ah, oh, dang. Sorry, guys. All right, I accidentally pressed modifying cast, so let me go back. Okay, so we are back. I had to ask um, Nina out on a date again because it... Switched over to Nina's family, and then I had to switch back to the royal family of Oasis Springs. So, anyway, so they're back on their date, and they are getting along really well. Look how romantic this scene is. I mean, there's a sunset in the background with a sailboat going across that's super cute. Um, and then they are just sitting and chatting by the pool. So, it's super cute. 
Um, okay, so we have, let's see, we need to kiss her. So, oh, and he is trying to impress her with push-ups. Good job, Prince Jared. Okay, so well, I'll ask her about the day. Ask her about her day. We need to have a deep conversation. So let's do that, and then we can try to see if we can kiss her. I mean, I'm sure they can kiss, and it'll be fine because they are having such a good relationship, and their romantic relationship is going up a lot too. So I think that they are just really hitting it off. And I don't know. I don't know. I think he would just really like her. She's so sweet. And I, with Lady Lindsay, it's just, I don't think that Lady Lindsay and Prince Jared go well together. I thought that they did, but just with their families, it just felt really rushed and forced. And I, I just, I don't know. Okay. So he needs to look how cute they are. Look deeply into eyes. And then we can also make a move, make a move, and then they need to kiss. So give vigorous massage. Do you see that? Wait, I need to go back. That's such an odd, an, an odd action. Okay, um, romance, give vigorous massage. There it is. And then where is the kiss? Why can't I kiss her? We'll whisper sweet nothings. I guess they just have to be in a flirty mood, but since he's in such a an energized mood, a little kiss. I'm going to have them kiss before they become boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't think they would rush into it that fast because of their families. I don't think they would definitely make it official. I think that they would just try to hide it for a while, so it's probably what we're going to do. Oh no, what's happened? Did I try too hard? I did. I was trying too hard. Oh, I'm sorry! Okay, well, that one was okay, I think. So ask about day. Yeah, that one went okay. Do we need to apologize to her? Can we kiss? <gasps> oh! Uh, okay. Wait, they didn't even have their first kiss yet! I'm so confused. Wait, what? Hold on. They totally just made out. And one, it didn't count as kiss your date. And also, it didn't say they had their first kiss. That was weird. That was... Okay. Um... There... Okay, this is definitely not their first kiss, but let's pretend it is. That was so weird. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. She literally just grabbed him and started kissing him, and, like, the game didn't even acknowledge it. So strange. Alright, where did she go? Maybe... Is she embarrassed? Why is she embarrassed? Because she just kissed him? I don't know. Okay. Well, oh, I, yeah, I missed it. Okay, that's fine. See, you guys pretty much saw that. So, I guess they have their first kiss now, and this date is golden. So, okay, I don't want to press modifying cast again. I'm just going to make them happy. And then, yeah, I don't know. I mean, look at this. They are so great together. Let's see, how old is Prince Jared anyway? He is going to be an adult in 26 days. I have I have the long Sims lifespan on. So just because I love them all so much. Okay, it definitely looked like he was passing out for a second. So their day is going really well. So let's just go see how Prince Adrian is doing with um, Lady Lindsay. So Prince Adrian is hanging out with Lady Lindsay. I know that, for, I'm sure that if you've seen my other episodes that they're just always stargazing. Um, and that's because the relationship just goes up so much more when they're stargazing or cloud gazing. Um, so I always end up doing that instead of just like doing a bunch of repeated actions. So for them, I, I think Prince Adrian, I mean, they've just, the families have just been hanging out so much and I think that he's just developed this crush on Lady Lindsay. And they don't really have a romantic relationship yet. I think his, his crush has been sort of from afar. So for them... Oh, and someone just decided to stand really close to them. This is Lady Lindsay's father, Marquis Edison. So, Edson. So for them... Let's see. I'm going to do a friendly introduction. I, I 
thought that he would have met her before, but I guess not. Or met him before. Um, but, oh wait, who else is in this conversation? Chat with Sir Aiden. What? Why? I don't see Sir Aiden. I don't know why we would be chatting with him. But, I, if you've seen the other episodes, I had Prince Adrian um, sort of get to know Lady Olivia, who is... Also part of one of the Willow Creek noble families, just not this noble family. So, I don't know. I, with them, they weren't hitting it off that well either. So, I, I just think with Lady Lindsay, I, I don't know. Honestly, we'll see if they hit it off because I haven't even gotten them to be in a romantic relationship yet. Like, there's no romantic relationship that's built at all. So, I think with them, I guess we'll just see. But, I mean, I don't know. Everyone's kind of crowding them, so can I flirt with her, but also have a group chat? I don't want to make it awkward. Okay, maybe I'll wait to do that. Okay, Get, let's do it. Let's flirt and try to avoid flirting in a group setting uh, so they can just have their conversation there and we'll flirt just behind them. So with Lady Lindsay, I don't, if you haven't seen the previous episode, so this is her. Um, she's really cute. She is, she's squeamish and she's neat. So I think she just grew up in this family and she has some issues with clen cleanliness. She just needs everything to be clean. So I, I don't even actually know if that flirting thing went well. Okay, why don't we ask her out on a date? I know we don't have a romantic relationship yet, but... Hopefully we will. So they can go into a more public place. Well, can they actually? No, they can't. Because she is engaged to be married to his brother. So, I don't know. I, I think that Prince Adrian knows about Nina and his brother, Jared. So I think that he just, in his mind, thinks this is okay. But he doesn't want to tell his brother about it. So maybe we should go somewhere a little bit more quiet. Um, let's see. We could also go to Windenburg. I'm trying to think of a place that would be a little bit more quiet. But now we got like restaurants and, and, oh, what is this? Ancient ruins. Well, that's super private. I don't think they need to be that private though. Maybe they'll just go to like a cafe or bar off. <laughs> I almost said off campus. I, I, I don't know why I said that. Um, so let's go into another world maybe. Is there a little... Bar? Is this a bar? Yeah. Cat hangout. Salty Paws Saloon. Well, why don't we try that? Alright, we'll go here together. So here we are at the Salty Paws Saloon, and it seems to be raining. It doesn't look like there are too many people here, so that's kind of a good thing for them. So they just kind of want to... I mean, for all they know, or for all other people know, it could just be like a fun hangout. So I'm going to order a drink. Order drinks for the group and why don't we get something fancy so they have the sea of fire we can do that so they're going to get the sea of fire and they're just going to hang out and we're going to see if any relationship kind of forms with them oh gosh he looks really really creepy oh my gosh it's probably just the eyeliner i don't know why what he's wearing pink gloves I don't know why bartenders are always vampires for some reason. That's just really strange to me. So, okay, this guy needs to go. Get out. Okay, and then Lady Lindsay and him are sitting down for a drink, and then we can start flirting with her, I guess, and see if anything happens. We can see if they're meant to be together. That's kind of just how I see it as if people, or if people, if sims are meant to be together, um, then the relationship, like the romantic relationship is just super easy to form because otherwise it's just like, it's just constant rejection and it's really, really difficult to get, I think I might have already said exchange numbers. Oh well. Okay, now they're in a group setting, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know who we lost friendship with. Oh, yeah, all right. I don't know. This doesn't look good, guys. Nope. Mm, nope. Okay, why don't... Is there a TV in here? Uh... No, there's not. I was gonna say, they could watch, like, a romantic TV show to kind of get them more into the mood. So... I don't see a TV in here. I kind of... I, I might just put one in here. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, we're gonna put a TV in here. There's a couch over here, so I feel like there should be a TV in here. 
So we're going to add the TV and get rid of that bulletin board because we do not need that. Um, okay, and then let's see. That, nope, that's not it. That's not it. All right. Okay, so we need a, a hanging TV. So we can just put one right there. And let's put on a romantic TV show that they can watch. So let's see, why is this being so slow? So what, okay, channel, no, not channel, so watch channel. Watch, am I missing it? Watch romance. Oh wait, but they, wait, they want to watch it together. Right, right, okay. Um, I guess they call her over. No, stop group chatting. Okay. Someone else is romantic or, or I really hope this isn't because he was trying to flirt and then someone else like got, get, got into it, I guess. So why don't we, Lady Lindsay, come on. I don't know, guys. This isn't looking good. Maybe this storyline wasn't meant to be. I was hoping it would because it's interesting. They also haven't gotten their drinks yet. So that bartender kind of sucks. Okay, so now they're watching a romance. She doesn't seem too into it at all. She's like on her phone. That's not a good sign. So, why don't can we, I'll ask if she's single. I won't get super flirty yet. And then, because technically her and his brother aren't in a relationship at all. They're just supposed to get married. So, I don't know. I don't know what, what would you do if you're in that situation? Like if your parents are like, you're going to marry this guy one day, you'd be like, uh... Okay, I don't know, it's not like you're going to ask the person out right away and fall in love with them. They're not watching! Oh, probably because I said, uh, okay, well she wasn't even watching, that's why. I didn't tell her to watch. So, can we watch together? Watch channel. I can't watch with her. Why? Can I watch a, a movie with her? Is there a romantic movie that we can watch? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Everyone is flirty except for her. Oh, oh, he's flirty. All right. Uh, well, okay, that's... Okay, well, he's hitting it off with someone else. That's not who you're supposed to be hitting it off with. Stop. Okay. He's just flirting with everybody. Okay, lady, go away. Go away. Let's try to flirt with her again. What is happening? Romance, flirt. Okay. Is she flirty? She's just happy. She's not flirty, but he's flirty. So maybe this will work. Ask about day. Oh gosh, I forgot we were on a date and that we're on a time limit. <laughs> um, okay, we are... It, it's working. It's working. We got this, guys. Oh, okay, that wasn't too hard. Probably just because that, I, I know being in a flirty mood definitely helps a little bit. So, well now, she's got a little bit of a romantic relationship with both brothers. So, now that he's actually talking to her, because he's just had a crush on her from afar. So, now that he's actually talking to her, I think that he's going to be a little bit jealous of his brother. I don't know, does he know about Nina? Probably not. May, I, I know I said that he might before, but I, I don't know, because he hasn't actually seen them together or be flirted together. And, I mean, his brother's still technically on that date, so they haven't even, they haven't even talked about it. So, oh gosh, I just saw angry, I was going, oh, Prince Adrian is going through a phase. He's being rebellious. Well, the, if he's being rebellious, then this is probably the time to get jealous of his brother. So, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, well... So, I mean, that's kind of the update with them. I know I didn't show you guys the king and queen at all. I actually added some facial hair to King Easton because he just looked too young. And he still looks so young. And he really doesn't, I don't think, look too much like a king at all. Like, he looks like the young, hip king. Um, but he's actually, I mean, he's middle-aged. So I, maybe when he gets older, he will. He's just got such a young face. I think it's the big eyes that he has. But, um, and then we have, of course, our queen. She's still lovely as ever. Um, she is the sister of King George of Windenburg. So, I mean, they're 
they're good. They're fine. They're good king and queen. There, nothing much is happening with them. So I think just with the brothers, I mean, we're, we're really focusing on the younger generation with all the royal families. So with the brothers, I think, I mean, this is a pretty good storyline. Um, and I think I'm going to go with this. So thank you to those who commented and suggested this because I do think it's a good idea. I was just trying to figure out how to get into it more. Um, speaking of comments, so some of you guys are commenting like just... I guess correcting the royal families and the status and how it is in real life. I know that there's just so much more to it. I know I could make like the queens a dowager when they when they grow up, when they become older, and then the kings are no longer kings. And I, I know, and I've tried, and I've looked into it, and maybe I will add to it gradually um, and just kind of correct like the names and stuff because I know some of the names might not even be right. But this is just what works for me. So anyway, um, enough of the rant, but I think I'm going to end the video here. In the next episode, we will focus on a different family, but I mean, we're definitely going to come back to the storyline soon because I love it. I think it's interesting. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how you think things should pan out with Prince Jared and Nina, um, let me know because I don't know if the parents would really approve of them being together. So um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button and definitely share with your friends thank you guys again so much for watching we will see you all the next episode